All right, here comes a, uh, another factoring blitz. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna factor two of these problems. And uh, first thing I look at, ladies and gentlemen, when you have four terms, whenever you see four terms, I always automatically look and see if I can factor by grouping. Um, because you can't factor using trinomial method and you always, if I look, there's nothing all four of these terms share. So if I group these, Alright, let's actually take the sign with it. Then I can group that, then that if we group them, then let's just go and see if we can factor these out individually. So x squared and 5x squared, I can factor out an x squared. I'm left with an x plus 5. Remember to check your answer, you can just multiply that x back through. x squared times x is x cubed, x squared times 5 is 5x squared. Out of here, I can factor out a 3. I can't factor out an x because the 15 doesn't have an x. So I can factor out a positive 3. I'm left with x plus 5. Now, I notice that these two terms are exactly the same. How can I factor this out? Imagine those two terms are, are p's. What do these two terms share? They both share a p. You can factor out a p. Correct? So if they both share the same thing, you can factor it out. Well, they don't share a p. They share a x plus 5. So that's what I need to factor out, is an x plus 5. And what I'm left over with is x squared and 3. Therefore, that's been factored down. I can't factor either one of those trinomials anymore. Over here, I split them up. Now, if these were inter interchanged, you'd want to make sure you'd have to get your A's together and your B's together because that would automatically signal, hey, you know, you're going to want to group these. So by grouping your A's and your B's together, that would be something that would be really helpful. And so here I can factor out an A because I, I want to group them so I can factor the same thing out. When I factor out an A, I'm left with X plus 1. Here, I can factor out a negative 7b. When I factor out a negative 7b, I'm left with um, an x plus 1. So therefore, now I'm left with uh, x plus 1 I factor out, and I'm left with a minus 7b. Factor blitz, grouping.